Today, we are going to be looking at how to build a website for free. So why build a website? Well, you can make money using affiliate, marketing, advertising, or even selling products and services online. You can blog about the things that matter to you, like arts, and crafts, travel, or politics. You can even share your ideas, talents, or products with the world. It's ridiculously easy and fun to do. It is hands-on experience to practice problem solving and research skills, and you can amp up your creativity. So for today, we will be using Wix.com to kind of just go through and show you how you can build a website on their platform. So what is Wix.com? Wix.com allows you to make your own website for free. It is a great way to start up a business or share your ideas on the internet. By the end of this slideshow, you will have your very own website. So why use Wix? Well, Wix is a quick and easy process and anyone can do it. It's completely free to use. It has over a hundred templates available covering a variety of subjects. And it's extremely personalizable with plenty of features. So how to access Wix step-by-step. Step. So in your search bar on your browser, whether it's Chrome, Mozilla, or on your tablet, you're gonna type in Wix.com. Once that is completed, click the results that say Wix.com. If it's not there, scroll down and you should be able to find it. The website will open and you should see something that looks like this. So now you're on Wix. To continue the process of building your very own website, click the Get Started or Start Now buttons. You'll be brought to a login page and you'll click the Sign Up button right here directly under the login. So to sign up, you can either click Continue with Facebook, Google, or use your email. You're going to click the blue Sign Up button at the bottom when you're done. Make sure to use your username and passwords down, uh, write your usernames and passwords down to remember them. So to get started, now you're gonna click the get started button and this will carry you to a few pages where they're gonna ask for some optional questions. You're allowed to skip them by clicking the skip button on the bottom right corner, but it is recommended that you answer so Wix knows what you're looking for in a website. Take some time to answer the questions if you choose to and let's bring your ideas to life. So the following slides are questions you will be asked when they prompt you to. So what do you wanna create a website for? So you can choose to create a website for yourself, for maybe a company that you work for, a client, startup, so a startup that you're a part of, or somebody else, you could be helping somebody else create a website. Once you click one of those options, so make sure you click this is my first time unless you have done it before then click whichever applies to you. So you have the four options there. What kind of website do you need? So there's some suggestions there when you click on the enter your business or website you get consultant portfolio online clothing store blogger nonprofit organization it can be any of those. So for this example, um, we've decided to use the website to be about game blogging. So then you're gonna click the next button. And then Wix. So once you click the start now to answer just a few more questions, Wix will get a website designed just for you in a couple of minutes with custom text and images. You have also the option to do this completely on your own, but I highly recommend clicking start now to have it completed quicker. So what do you need on your new website? So it comes with the site comes with the blog and it gives you a couple more features here. So you can kind of choose if you would like some of those features on your website. So a subscribe form, you can have a chat there if you want to chat with people our Instagram feed so you can display your pictures and videos from your Instagram. You're going to hit your next button. What do you need on your new website? 
So if you want to put some music on there, maybe create some professional menus, a forum so that people can talk about topics on your website as well, all sorts of things, orders if you're a restaurant, um, reservations. And then you get to decide the name of your blog. So put the good gaming as the name of the blog and website and click next. And do you want to import your images and text? Here they are asking if you have any other websites, social media, or business location. If you have none of these, then you'll just skip this step. And if you do, copy and paste the link to those websites. So if you want to promote another website or you, where your business is located, you're going to put them in these. Hit next. If not, just hit skip. And now you'll have to add your info. So you should now be on the add your info page. Here you will be able to state your name, email, phone, address, and any possible social accounts such as Facebook or Instagram. You will also be able to add a picture of what your website is going to be about or your face. This can be done by clicking the plus button where the circle is and selecting which way you want to import the picture. So you can review and edit your info here. When it asks for your name, do not put your website name, put your actual name. So this is where you'll have all your information. If you want to have it up there for them to get in contact with you, you'll hit the next button once again. As you can see, email address can be added here, home address, phone number, any of your social accounts, again, like Instagram or Facebook. And now it is time to pick your theme. This is how your website will be seen. Scroll through your options and find the theme you like the best and select it. You can always change it later on. So these are the types of themes you'll see, evolution, jet black, minimal, breeze. These fonts and colors will be used to design your site and you can always change them later. So you will most likely be asked about your color palette and will be given the option to use your website picture as the color palette, or you can skip and make your own. So if you have a picture that you decided to use, they can just take the colors from that, or you can use your own palette of colors. Pick a homepage design. After this, you will be asked to pick a homepage design for your website. Like most things we have done thus far, you can either choose a design or skip it. I recommend you choose a homepage design now as you can always change it later. So it gives you a good template to start with. Let's see, there's a couple options down here for blogging. Add pages to your website. Wix is also going to give you the option of adding more pages to your website if you wish to. Take some time to look over the pages and select the ones that are right for you. You can always come back to change or remove pages once selected. Click the Edit Site button. And if you do not wish to add pages, then click the Skip button. So you can add an About Me, you can add a quote, um, a contact page. Now you're almost there. You're so close to publishing your own website. You will now see an overview of your soon to be website. However, you'll see what, that they are different. Definitely some changes that could be made. To change an image, click on the image and then click the button replace. From there, you can select another image. You and to be there. Also from there, you should be able to replace the title as well. This is your time to switch it up and give it your unique final touches. For more questions, you make them when they get to the breakout rooms. Oh, you may ask them. So publish your site. You're going to click the publish button and your site will go live. Your site has been published. Congratulations. To view it, simply click view button beside the website link. So now I'll take you guys to a quick example of a website that was built by Kalia there. She was the one who put this wonderful slideshow together, as you can see. Um, so this is where her image is in the corner here. Um, scrolling down, she's chosen one of the themes for her blog, the Good Gaming. There's a little blurb about the blog here. And as you scroll down, she's got some posts here. So you'll be able to do all those things as you're editing. You can add the pages and the posts. She has added an about me page on the top right corner here. So you go to the about. 
And uh, you'll see here that uh, she's got a little bit of info about the web page and a subscribe form on the bottom. As we've seen, you can add that in as well if you'd like. She also has uh, some links to social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a, a contact page as well. So she's got all this set up just to kind of get an idea here. So this is what it would look like. Again, she's added her own little touches. Looks like she's gone with this, her own color palette as well. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Everything is here on the main page. Let's see if there are more. All right, so there you have it. You have your own website. You now have your own website. Share it with your friends and family and edit it anytime you like. So please check the email that you use to create your own website and confirm your email once it is done.